If you love working on projects that can be worked continuously without a ton of color changes and you can practically go on autopilot, then the Modern Granny Square is for you. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Although this is called a Modern Granny Square, it's been around for years and it's just the classic block stitch without all the fuss of fastening on and off to get that spike effect between the granny clusters. But let me tell you, there is a lot to love about this method and it has fast become one of my favorite ways to make a granny square. The main one is although we'll be turning our square after every round, your granny clusters are all going to stay on the same side. And you're still going to get the benefit of preventing that square from drifting or skewing that you can get when you continuously work round after round on the same side. And finally, this pattern is very easy to convert to a rectangle, so I'll be sure to show you how to do that later in the video. If you love working with variegated yarns, this is a great project for that. For this tutorial, I'm going to be working with this beautiful variegated yarn by Arcane Fibers. This is a DK weight three yarn and I'm using a four millimeter hook, but I recommend that you use whatever hook and yarn you love. To begin, create a magic ring or you can do a chain four with a slip stitch to form a ring, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and do a magic ring today. Form a chain to close the ring. Chain two or three to serve as your first double crochet. I like to chain two. And now two more doubles into the ring to form your first cluster. A cluster just means three double crochets. Chain two, that's our first corner. And then three more double crochets into your ring. Chain two, three double crochets. Chain two, okay, we have three clusters so far. One, two, three, one more cluster to go. So that's three double crochets into the ring. And then chain two. Now add a slip stitch into the top of the chain that you made. One, two. And now we're ready for round two. So for this pattern, we're going to be working one round of granny clusters, and then the alternating round will be a round of chains. And you have a choice here. You can either do a chain three, like I'm going to do here. This is going to give you a nice uniform granny square, or you can go up to a chain of four or even five if you want to have a more lacy look. So at this point, go ahead and turn your work. And in this corner that's first available, go ahead and go into it and create a single crochet. Now chain three, and then into the same corner, go back in with a single crochet. And now we're just going to do this all the way around. Chain three, single crochet into the next corner, chain three, single into the 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 corner, Coming to the last side, chain three. And in that very first single that you made, add a slip stitch to complete the round. 
To set up for round three, I prefer to start in a corner because I don't like any kind of seam lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very loose slip stitch into the middle of this corner. If you did a chain five, then I would recommend that you slip stitch your way to the corner. But because I have such a short distance to go, I'm just kind of adding a little bit of length to my loop here, going into the middle and then doing my slip stitch. Turn your work. And now we're ready for round three and we're back to doing clusters. So what I'm going to do here to keep these seams in the corner, I'm going to do half of the corner here, go all the way around and complete my corner at the end. So I'm going to chain two for my first double crochet, chain three if you prefer, and now two double crochets into the same corner. That's half of my corner completed. And now in the chain gap here, I'm going to do my next set of clusters. That's three double crochets. Moving right into the next corner, three double crochets. Since we're forming a corner, we need to do a chain two and within that same corner, three double crochets. Back to a side and in this chain space, three double crochets. And we're just going to do this all the way around. We've already done half of the corner, so we just need to complete it. So I'm doing three double crochets. Chain two. And to complete the round, I'm doing a slip stitch into the top of that first chain two that I made. So we're back on an even number. That means we're on our chain round. And so we are just going to turn our work and do a single crochet into our corner and then chain three or five if you're doing a lacy version and then a single into the same space. This is forming our corner. And now we have our side spaces. We're just going to follow along with the same sequence chain three, work a single between the granny clusters, chain three, a single between the clusters, chain three, we're at our corner, so we're doing our single crochet, and now we're forming our corner again, so that's just chain three, and then back into the same space, to complete it with another single crochet. And we're just going to do this all the way around. The only tip I have with this is just to take your time and recognize your corners because it's so easy to get caught up in the rhythm of this that you forget to add that extra little loop in there to form your corners. I'll often go back and see that I just went right around and didn't do that extra step there. So just keep that in mind as you're working your chain rounds back to our final corner. I'm doing my chain three and into that very first single crochet that I made, I'm going to add my slip stitch and I'm ready for the next round. And again, I'm just going to lengthen my loop a little bit just to help me stretch up to the middle of this stitch here to slip stitch and get ready for the next round turn your work. And that's all there is to it. It's just a two round repeat. You're just doing your clusters for one round and your setup chains for the next round. We're back to our spaces. So I'm just going to chain two to serve as my first double crochet in my corner, two double crochets, into the space, and now I'm just going to work my granite clusters into each chain space provided until I reach my next corner. 
and just continue this all the way around. So if you want to do this as a rectangle, it's super, super easy to do. To get started, you want to use a multiple of three. Anything between 15 to 24 is a pretty good range, but for a happy compromise, I'd recommend a chain of 18. Slip knot on my hook. So let's go ahead and do that here. I'll chain 18. To form a rectangle, we're going to take this chain and form two sides of granny clusters. So starting into the third chain from the hook, create a double crochet. One, two, three. And then add one more double crochet into the same chain. Now chain two. And in the same chain, we're going to do three more double crochets. On the ends of our chain, we're creating our corner. So I've done a portion of my corner and we'll come all the way around and complete it at the end of the round. So now we're going to form our clusters into the chains. Skip two chains, one, two, and work three double crochets into the following chain. Now, one thing to keep in mind is while you're working on these clusters, your chains underneath might start tightening up on you and you might accidentally lose a chain. Keep a real close eye on that because you may get to the end and think that you've miscounted. Usually it's just because that chain got tight and you just need to stretch it back out. Skip two chains and do three more doubles into the following chain. One, two, three. See how tight that gets? Just stretch everything out. Skip two chains, three doubles into the third. When you come to the end, same thing, skip two chains. And in that very final chain, we're going to form another corner. So three double crochets. chain two into the same space, three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets into that space. And this is very stretchy yarn. So I'll have to tighten that back up here in just a second. This is your corner with two spaces to work into later. And we're just going to go all the way back across and do the same thing to the other side. So following the same sequence, it's very easy to see here. We're just going to work into the same stitch that we worked in prior on the other side. So we're just doing three double crochets. Continuing over, three double crochets to match the other side. And just continue this all the way across. And we're in our final corner, so we're going to do three double crochets. Chain two. And now we're going to complete this corner with a slip stitch. And we're just going to do a slip stitch into the top of that very first chain two or three that you made. 
and now it's really easy. We're just going to repeat the same sequence like we did with the square. We're going to turn our work, and in this very first available corner, we're going to do a single crochet. And now you can decide what kind of effect you want. If you want a tight look, I'd recommend a chain three. If you want to have a lacy look, then a chain five, or you can split the difference and do a chain four. I'm just doing chain three. And just like before, in the corners, we're going right back in with another single crochet. And then along the sides, chain three, or chain four, chain five, whatever you prefer. Just whatever you decide on, it's what you use for the whole round. If you feel like I'm moving too quickly through this, please watch the tutorial on how to do the square where I go into more detail about what I'm doing. But we're basically doing the same thing like in this square, just on a rectangle. We're coming up to our first corner. So we're just doing a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into that corner. If you're not recognizing your corners easily, then I would recommend that you add a stitch marker until it's really easy for you to spot. Because that is kind of hard. You will get into a routine or a rhythm and you'll accidentally skip the corners and you'll have to go back. So we just finished our first corner on this side, chain three. And now we're going into the next corner with a single. And just like before, chain three, and create a single into that corner space. So you have two more corners made to work into for the next round. Continuing along, chain three, a single into the space. Just working that same sequence. Getting close to a corner. And it's just a case of remembering to form that corner within that corner. So that was a single, chain three, back into the same space with a single. And we've reached the end of this round, so just to complete it, chain three, and slip stitch into the very first single that you made. And now just like the square, I'm just going to lengthen this loop a little bit to help me get to the middle of my corner chain, slip stitch. You can either chain now or turn. I'm just going to go ahead and turn, and now I'm ready for the next round. Chain two or three to serve as your first double crochet for that corner. Two more doubles into the same space. We're just working half of the corner and we'll come back and complete it. That way we won't have a seam anywhere. It will be hidden in the corner. We have a chain space here, so we're just going to work three double crochets into the space. We're back to a corner, so we do three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. I'm just going to continue this all the way around, working double crochet clusters into the chain spaces. We're at a corner, so we're doing three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. Well, hello. You'll notice here I have a chain space, so I need to add a cluster. And then we're back to a corner. And we're just going to do the same sequence all the way around. We've reached the final corner, so I just need to go in with three double crochets. chain two, and slip stitch into the top of the very first chain two that I made. 
and we're ready to move on to the next round, which is the chain round. So single crochet right into that first corner and then continue on with the sequence. Remember, we're always doing corners, which is a single chain three single for our corners. And then in each of these spaces, we're just creating our chains. And that's just going to increase incrementally round after round. And you'll just continue on with this two round repeat to complete your project. You can go as big as you like. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, a like is always appreciated. If you enjoy projects like this where you work continuously round after round, then I have another one here that I think you'll really like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.